Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Windows 10 or 11 computer keeps freezing or lagging. I will be sharing five effective solutions that you need to apply one by one. And after that, you will find a great change and see that the lagging and the freezing issues has been disappeared. If this worked for you, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. The very first thing that we have to do is you need to go with the disk check and with the memory check. So on your Windows 10 or Windows 11, open your file explorer. You can also use the shortcut key that is Windows and E. Once you come here on the left hand side, you will see this PC. Click on it. Then come to local disk C. Make a right click on it and choose properties. The properties box will now be up. Click on the tools tab from the left top end menu and below that you will find error checking and the check button so you have to click on check and then click on scan drive. So probably it will scan or it will give you this message that says repair this drive. So if you get the same message it means there is a problem with your drive and it says windows found errors on this drive that need to be repaired. Close the dialog box and then repair the drive. If you get the same message, then follow my steps. If you get any other message, then follow the instructions accordingly to that. Click on close. You can close everything. Now click on your search box, type CMD. Then from the suggestion, choose run as administrator. Now here we have to go with two command to fix the disk issues. The first command will be CHK dsk space forward slash f space c and then colon then hit enter and it says chk disk cannot run because the volume c is in use by another process would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time so you have to type y and then hit enter the next command will be chk dsk space or slash r then space c now these command these both command you will find in the description so you can copy the command from the description and paste here now again hit enter then again press y then hit on enter so now you have to make a restart and once you make a restart the process of checking the disk will be begun and it will scan all the problem and fix the problem it will repair everything it will find everything so that will be done once you make a restart all right so before that you can also try right now or else you can apply the other solution and then finally you can make it once you are done you can close it now in the next step we also need to make the memory check and find out that what the problem is again click on your search box and type MDS and from the suggestion choose Windows Memory Diagnostic. Click on it and now it says restart now and check for problems. Alright, so what you can do as we already need a restart to find out the CHK disk. So you have to apply this solution once the CHK disk has been completed. Alright, so what you can do is just remember this step, this solution. Okay, you can close it. So the third one will be we have to clean some unwanted junk and file. So press Windows and letter R key to bring up the run box at the left hand corner and type here temp. Then click on OK. Now you will see all the files here. Press Ctrl A to select all. Then press the delete key to delete them all. For the remaining item you can check the box and click on escape. Once you are done, again press Windows and R key to bring up the run box. Now type percent temp percent and then click on OK. Again press Ctrl A to select all, then press the delete key to delete them all. Now once you are done, we have to also run the SFC scan so that it can scan all kind of issues on your PC. So click on your search box, type CMD then choose run as administrator the black window will be coming up here you have to type sfc space forward slash scan now hit enter 
now this will take some time so what we can do we can just minimize it and now we are remaining with the last method that is updating your windows and your graphic driver just make sure that you have the updated version of your windows 10 or windows 11 because using an outdated or the previous version of the windows can cause some kind of lagging and phrasing issues so you have to click on your search box type updates and from the suggestion choose check for updates here you can click for check for updates and if there are any updates available it will download and install it follow the instructions once you are done now make a right click on your windows icon and from the list choose device manager the device manager will be up now here you have to look for display adapters make a double click on it and this will display your graphic driver whichever you have now make a right click on it and choose update driver then you have to click search automatically for drivers and if there are any updates available it will automatically update it and if not then it will let you know that you already have the updated drivers okay so once you are done with all these steps kindly make a restart and as soon as you will restart the chk disk checking will be started wait until that process is being completed and once it's been done finally you have to make the second step that is running the memory diagnostic okay so after that what you can do again type here in the search box type mds and choose windows memory diagnostic then click on restart now and once you click on restart now the computer will restart and come up with a blue screen where the memory diagnostic will begin okay so it will show you the progress that how much it's been completed and once it's been done yeah, again it will restart and then finally it will give you some kind of report on the right hand bottom you can click on it and follow the instructions and after applying all these solutions accordingly what i have explained you in this video i'm pretty sure that your freezing and the lagging issues will be fixed and still if you have any confusion something related to this video you can let me know in the comment section i will surely reply you back so that's all guys hopefully this will work for you and i will see you in the next video Bye bye